on this. Stand up. Turn around, keep your eyes closed. Stand up, eyes closed. Look, put your arms down. Look up, baby. Open your eyes. <laughs> say hi to Stitch. Olivia, say hi to Stitch. <laughs> He's our new friend, she. Isn't he beautiful? Say something. He's ours. We get to keep him. Something. <laughs> what is going on, YouTube? It's your boy Matt. Get the hands back to you with another video. And in this video, this is my cousin. He just turned 21. And he is out here in Tampa, Florida, enjoying his birthday weekend. Um, but I was like, look, we got to bless you with a fresh haircut. And he came out here to get a haircut. So right here, I'm just kind of combing in the way that the hair falls. I want to figure out his natural parting. I want to figure out the previous barber, what that, that barber did. Um, so right here, I was trying to show you that the parting was just a little bit off, which is, I mean, it's fine. All right. I'm not knocking them the, the barber that cut his hair. Um, I just want to make sure that the, the natural parting is there and it's a straight line. So, right here, as you can tell, on this side of the comb over, I want to try to keep as much volume as possible. Now, his hair wants to comb forward versus down. Um, so, you're going to see I, I struggle with, with it a little bit, but we get it to a nice blend, a nice fade. The hair is uh, falling down. And it's staying down. So right here, I'm just putting in my first guideline with my skeleton, my Babilis FX skeleton trimmers. And you can tell they just cut my butter. Um, but yeah, your boy is a French, Frenchy owner. <laughs> I just picked him up this past week, and the whole family's in love. My daughter's in love. My wife is in love. Um, we actually created a Instagram page for him. My wife did that. Did that. So make sure you follow him on his journey as he grows up. And I'll be taking like some nice photos of him and whatnot just to keep it, you know, nice and neat on his Instagram page. But yeah, your boy fell into the Frenchie uh, fab. It's just crazy because like I'll be walking around with him, right? And everyone's stopping me and they they know what kind of dog he is. They, they, they know how much they run. And they're just like looking at me like, yo, you crazy. But also he's cute as hell. <laughs> but anyways, off topic. So I put my first guideline in. Now I'm using my Babilis FX clippers and I have the lever all the way open, guys. And I'm going up about an inch because I want to spread my blend. I want to make sure I have enough room to blend. So right after that, I'm going to go ahead and close my lever all the way. Now, normally I would go to the middle and work my way down to the close, but Lately with these clippers, I've been going with the lever all the way closed and then just using like one or two notches towards the, the lever all the way open um, to blend that line out. And that's gonna take away that, that line that the half left behind. And what I like to do is I like to just, you know, use those notches to go in between, just kind of use the corners of my blade and make sure that that grain of hair is feeding into the blade. And I'm removing the line that the trimmer left behind basically. Sorry for the autofocus, guys. I know y'all gonna get, get on me with that. But um, this is the one guard now. Lever all the way open. And I'm using my comb because I wanna feed the hair into my guard. But also because I'm trying to, I, I wanna train that hair to lay down because again, it, it's wanting to comb forward. And right around this part of his head, it kind of protrudes inwards, if I'm not mistaken. So it has kind of like a, like a, not an end in, but it kind of slopes corn, like kind of into like a full hop. So I wanted to make sure that I keep as much as I can squared because he did want like a mid to a high fade. So all right, so after doing the one, we're gonna go ahead and take the two. And again, I'm, I'm combing down the hair to kind of keep it down. And I'm just kind of coming off of the Prada ridge of his head it's a with that two guard open. And then I'll just like close it all the way and then I'll come back with my one and a half guard right under it. 
but you're gonna see the shape you're gonna see the ending product the final result it looks clean the volume is there it's blended and right here guys I don't know if you follow me on Instagram but if you do you saw that I picked up a new uh, light it's called it's called a GVM great video maker um, and the, the light has an option on there to switch to either Tuscan light which is like your yellow light orange light or LED light and right now I'm using LED and the reason why I got it is because it's wireless I can run it off two batteries and you don't have to have it plugged in I can move it around so that's what I was using right here I had the light on and I was anywhere you'll, you'll see whenever I change like angles and stuff I put the light where I want it and I enjoy it I love it the light is bright it's light as far as weight um, it looks real clean it looks real professional it looks sleek and it's easy to travel with if you do like a lot of barber battles and stuff like that um, I would definitely look into that light it's about the same price as a newer ring light which is N-E-E-W-E-R that's the brand and that's what you see right behind uh, my client right here that's the newer ring light but real quick guys so this is just a little bit of clip over comb again I'm trying to keep it square as possible as you can tell his hair is it's, it's kind of being stubborn but it's because it wants to lay forward not down and I just want to try to keep as much volume and square shape that I can and I'm just kind of doing a little bit of clip over comb to do that you don't want to cut too much hair off because once you comb I guess like kind of forward it's gonna look like a lot of hair was cut off so again I'm trying to keep it square shape also with keeping volume in that area um, but yeah so about this about this light if you do like barber battles and you like to travel you do hotel calls house calls I would definitely look into it I will leave a link in the description for the light for the price of a newer ring light you're gonna get the ring light the tripod and two batteries for 130 so it's around 120 to 130 for the whole thing but right here I have the half guard on and that's basically gonna bring the blend together whatever the one left behind I'm going in with my half guard all the way open to start off with and then I'm just gonna slowly close it to like the middle position and then I'll close it all the way to remove the bottom line all the way and then right here same steps lever all the way open I believe that blend is coming together it's looking blurry there's volume in the area that he wants volume in this is actually my first time ever cutting the hair too blurry the camera um, focused off of it and look at the back it's now the back is focused on Shannon now the fade is blurry literally all right guys so right here I'm just adding some water uh, because again I want the hair to lay down you can see right here I'm gonna be taking some small section of this, of this side and kind of I'll bring my fingers out you see how I kind of move my fingers outward because I want to keep that shape I don't want to cut in so I just want to cut off just a little bit and then I'll come back and I'll use my thinning shears later on in the video to kind of make that little bit softer. Like 
that angle is blended. It has to kind of like right here. Look right here on the left side. You can kind of tell how it's edited. It has like a dense end. So that's what it has on the other side. So it's a little bit difficult to blend, but we're going to get it. Don't worry. Um, so right here, same steps, lever all the way open. Man, look at this camera angle, guys. Look how crispy this video is. With that lighting and my Canon M50, not to mention my Canon M50, I'm using a kit lens. That's great. Usually you would have to buy a camera and whatever lens that it comes with is usually not that good. But with this camera, Canon M50, the kit lens is crazy. Again, anything that I use in my videos, guys, Clippers, for the most part, everything is going to be in the description below. So make sure you check out the um, right here. I have the one guard all the way open, and I'm just going to work it to the close position. So I'll put it in the middle and then close it to kind of soften up whatever that one and a half is behind. And then don't worry about that line. What I usually do is I like to skip to my two guard, and what I'll do with my two guard is I'll cut. Up, up to about half of an inch to an inch, and then I'll come back with my one and a half guard to soften up whatever the two guard left behind. Because if you go from a one guard to a one and a half guard, I feel like you're raising the blend more so keeping it dark, right? If you do a two, now you know not to go as high as whatever the two and a half went to. If you do the one and a half and then into the two, now you're raising your blend. If that makes sense. So right here, you see whatever's underneath that, you take your one and a half guard as so, never open, and just kind of soften up whatever the two left behind. Okay guys, sorry, auto focus. Don't beat me up. Don't, don't, don't kill me in these comments. I want good comments, good positive comments about this video. I think this video came out blurry. The contrast looks sick. Not to mention his family. Y'all are my family, so nothing but good vibes, guys. Don't kill me on the comment section. All right, so right here, we're gonna go ahead and bring that blitz together. And guys, this is like me doing my rough draft. Like, I did a lot of detail work in this video, so I, I believe I have some of it in there. Some of it I kind of took out because the video is already long enough. And I know y'all tell me don't take things out like that. Attention span is very short, <laughs> so I try to just make sure I'm putting in the, the important stuff. So right here, I saw that it was a little bit darker around this area. So even with the lighting, you can tell it almost looks like there's like a gap. But I'm just going to use a clipper method to soften that up. So right here, I'm using my Gold Fabulous FX Skeleton Trimmer. They are adjusted, and I'm just using that corner to bring out that.
videos very consistently. I try to get two videos a week, guys. Um, at least one video a week, but I try to get two. So right here, I'm gonna go ahead and use my duck clip to kind of pin up the hair, and I'm gonna go ahead and start doing the hairline, the front edge. is going to bring it the other way so right here i'm just i already have put a little bit of product in i'm going to go ahead and blow dry it and then afterwards i'll apply a little more product but i'm using the 245 royal wax and look at that shape guys look at that shape trust the process it looks crazy in the beginning i know but trust the process product i hope y'all enjoy this haircut tutorial as much as i did doing it and i just want to say thank you again man make sure you hit that like button comment below tell me what y'all think about this video i believe it came out blurry the fade is on point the volume is there man this haircut came out